Now then, this is part four of this Lister PK generator set and we seem to be getting somewhere through some very kind words and Eddie Edmondson gave me some very succinct and precise feedback on the last video. Uh, I'm just really impressed. Yeah. And I'm going to show you what he wrote because it's very important but it goes Andy and he writes Hi Andy, I've done these mods, mods before on these alternators. One, forget about the exciter part. Two, use the AVR supplied by George Roper. Three, instructions disconnect the exciter wiring from the slip rings and insulate the wires. I'm just going to put a shot of this so you can read it yourself. Right, so there's the exciter generator and we're just coming forward and there's the new AVR and down there in that nest of wires and whatnot are the slip rings and you can just about see just there that's one of the bolts that holds a wire on from the exciter generator so those are the connections one on each of the uh, slip ring brushes that we need to remove there that's a good that's a better view you can see both of them now and I'll remove those and bring some wires out and connect them but first of all before I do that I've got to flash the rotor or those slip rings with 12 volts and mark the polarity that then sets the magnetism the residual magnetism of the rotor which we've not seen and we can't really see it I don't think but it is effectively you can maybe just about see it in the back there it is four big coils so it's four big magnets on the rotor supplied by two slip rings so basically there's a positive and negative slip ring and four magnets and they're huge hopefully you can see those I can't quite see whether you can see but there we go anyway so what we're going to do now is uh, unbolt that and bring some wires out right and Eddie writes disconnect the exciter wiring from the slip rings and insulate the wires tick fix two new wires to the slip rings and then bring them out to the alternator case so they can be connected right so what I've done is I've actually left the original wires in place but brought but where they go through to the exciter I've cut them off with sufficient length so that if I need to reconnect I can and insulate them off and then I've extended the original wires up here to this red and a blue and I've I've taped the wires that came from the original slip rings red and blue just in case and of course blue goes to blue and red goes to red um, and now I'm going to add a uh, a point where I'm just going to measure the resistance and it's 13.6 ohms okay so that's good uh, now I've got to flash the this wiring with a 12 volt battery 
Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now, positive and negative. And of course, as we remember, that is for to um, create the residual magnetism in the right polarity. So we just connect these, negative to negative. That'll do. That's the job. Then on here, we've got field negative and field positive. So, field positive, field negative. All right, let's get rid of those terminals. Right, now connect L1, the red phase, and the neutral to the AVR AC input, which is that one and that one. That's the neutral. AC, AC2, I believe, is the positive, is the live. So let's just have a look in the, the manual, just to make sure. AC1 is the neutral, AC2 is the red. So, uh, and I was experimenting early, I started off on the red and I moved to a different phase. So we'll go back and change that one back to the red. So as you can see, neutral, red, there we go. So I think we're nearly ready. Let's go back to the list. So now what does Eddie say? He says, turn the volts adjustment down to low. That is low. I'm going to put the stability about the middle and that dip switch there move to slow so we've got those set on 240 volts slow slow and 50 hertz right and as we know the engine is running virtually at the right speed so i think we're ready I'm just going to cross-reference and check things just to make sure. Right, I put a piece of pipe on the exhaust. Hopefully that quiet things down a little bit. That uh, Roper AVR, by the way, is a HWP 60 stroke 5. I've checked the wiring. Okay, Eddie, here we go. The peach can is full. Click. Right. And then we just need to start her up.
So there you go. You could see that I was adjusting the the voltage twiddler on the AVR. We got the volts going up and up and then a bit too much and brought it down. So uh, I think we would probably uh, adjust that with a bit of a load on it. But Eddie Edmondson, you're a star mate. Absolutely brilliant. And of course he runs his own business doing this very sort of thing. So it's even more um, amazing that he was he felt empowered to be able to share his information. Absolutely brilliant. And we'll be in touch. Thanks, Eddie. So that's it. You know, we've got loads more to do on this. Tidy some wiring up, put a fuel tank on it, um, change the oil, etc., etc., etc. And then it will go, it's got to have its own shed. Yeah and you know find a decent exhaust for it and what have you but brilliant well i feel great now because i've been battling with this one for a while and battling with vague information and then da -da, a star is born cheers for now